Hi, my name is Andrea Bierman and I'm proud to be a visiting faculty member of the Panky Institute. One of you asked me, do I use digital photography in my private practice? My answer wholeheartedly is yes. I use digital photography for a number of reasons. From patient education to communicating with my lab to marketing, helping patients see what we do here in the practice. Digital photography is such an important part of what I do. I'd like to show you a little more. So I'm going to demonstrate the seven digital photos that I love to take on every patient in the practice. Especially having them on new patients is helpful for so many things, from helping the patient learn about their own teeth and the conditions in their mouth, to making decisions about treatment. I also use them, like I mentioned, to communicate with the lab and to share cases with other dentists. So let's take a look at the seven photos that I use most commonly. The first picture I like to take is a smile shot. I'm trying to frame it from one corner of the mouth to the other. I want to make sure the patient is just about on my level and I have them turn their head toward me. Thanks, Courtney. photo, I have my assistant put retractors in so that I can capture the upper and lower teeth slightly apart. Next, I take right and left lateral shots. To do this, my patient holds a retractor and we put a mirror that's been dipped in warm water in between her cheek and her teeth. My assistant holds that for me. Finally, I take pictures of the upper and lower arch using a mirror. The patient holds the retractors on Courtney for the upper one. I'm going to have you pull them out and up slightly. My assistant puts the mirror into place that's been dipped in warm water. Perfect. So if you've decided digital photography is a fit for your practice, I'd recommend getting a camera specifically made for dental and medical photography. Having one with a macro focus lens and a flash ring will be really helpful. The macro focus lens helps you get everything you need in focus at the same time. For instance, from the central incisor to the second molar. The flash ring will help give you the exposure you need or the light that you need to take great photos in the mouth. You can either try to put this all together yourself or you can find a retailer that specializes in dental and medical, medical photography and they'll get it all set for you. Next, the armamentarium is pretty simple some mirrors and some retractors. I've really found that almost every dentist likes different ones, so I would experiment with them and see what works best in your hands. Finally, the last thing is practice. You'll need lots of practice. You may have noticed Courtney from my front office team was in the chair. Our team practices taking digital photos on each other so we can refine our techniques and take great pictures, consistent pictures, every time. So practice. Come down to E1 at the Panky Institute and you'll find there's a lot of time dedicated to hands-on photography. I hope my path crosses yours soon at the Panky Institute and I wish you well on your journey.